My first day of three liters. This is what three liters of water looks like. Let's go. So quick sum up of this week's hydration challenge. The bags under my eyes, I will have to say that there has been no improvement in that so far. If anything, maybe worse than before. Two days ago, I spent a lot of time in the sun. Honestly, I'm not sure. I think the eye bags could be getting worse. I probably needed a lot more that day because I was in the sun, I got sunburned, I was sweating. I kayaked for like seven kilometers and then I was in the salt water as well. It's possible that even with the three liters of water, I was supposed to drink more and I dehydrated myself a little bit that day. As far as the cramps go, my head is cramping. I can still make myself cramp, but a lot less than before. Before I can make myself cramp on the spot right away. If I just thought of cramp, I would cramp. But right now, I can physically make myself cramp, but I have to work really hard at it. I have to like really, really like tippy toe in order to get the cramp. And I have to say that there are two days in the week that I tried to, to make myself cramp, but then I couldn't. As far as the cramping goes, it's getting better. I, I really wanted to test it out on the road racing because the real issue is not in my feet, it's when I cramp in my quads while I'm racing. But I didn't get the chance to do that this Sunday because the weather has been horrible. <laughs> So if you don't already know, this is what is recommended for you to drink per day for women and men. I'm doing 3.1 more or less, but no less than three per day. So some other important information that you should know that you shouldn't consume more than three cups or 700 milliliters, a little bit more than 700 milliliters of water per hour. If you do, it could be dangerous. If you're interested in seeing the science, I'm not just taking my word for it. I will link some videos here. I found these videos very informative and they may be helpful for you as well. So I've been keeping track of my pee as well, my pee count how many times I've been peeing each day because it's recommended 8 to 12 times and I just wanted to make sure that I was in that range and I have to say out of everything in this challenge counting my pee has been the hardest thing to do because I pee so much I've been peeing on average about 12 to 13 times difficulty level as far as getting the water in how hard that's been for me. The first three days, I did have to think about it and really push myself to get that water in. But by day four, it already started to become muscle memory and kind of habit. And my body naturally started craving the water. So I was more thirsty throughout my day towards the end of the week. My sleep quality has definitely improved. Like this. <laughs> Usually I would get up and I would feel like, oh, like a little lightheaded or dizzy or like, fuck, I gotta stay on the bed for a little while. And then wake up. But now I'm just like, I'm up. Like I literally just woke up. All right, let's start the day. Let's go. I've been trying to pay attention to my mental clarity as well. And I think I do feel a difference in that. I do feel a lot more sharp, a lot quicker with responding and editing and just kind of clear throughout my day. I can't say that I've seen a difference in weight loss. I weighed myself in the beginning and I weighed myself today. I am a little bit lighter, but I do fluctuate more or less between these numbers, so it's hard to say if I'm actually losing weight yet. I do feel a difference in my body, even though the scale is kind of saying the same. And also, I, I do feel that I'm eating a lot less. Because I'm drinking a lot more, I'm feeling fuller, longer, and in between my meals as well. And I'm not eating as much as I would or as much as I used to. So I put together a free PDF that you guys have available in the description down below basically just some tips and tricks on how you can stay hydrated more easy throughout your day and some other information that I thought might be helpful for you guys so that's a wrap-up of week one stay tuned for week two week three and the finale